Hello and welcome back to Ducoscopy TV. I'm Monica Gibson. With me in the studio today is Antoine Miu. He's the CEO of KKB. Antoine, welcome back to the studio. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Lovely to have you. Now, we're going to have got lots of interesting things again to talk about, um, looking at renewable energy. Now, you, KKB say the, the revolution of energy in Europe is really about renewable energy production. Could you tell us perhaps a little bit about this, this journey, as it were? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, we have to remember uh, the drivers of this transformation of the energy system in Europe. There are really two main aspects to, to remember. One is the, the strong climate policies in the EU, and on the other hand, the very um, impressive progress in technology. Uh, in technology, we have seen costs coming down significantly, and that means that renewables uh, have now taken a large share of the power generation market, and that will continue to increase. So if we think ahead, uh, we will see that um, central thermal power generation will be gradually replaced by decentralized renewable power generation. And this comes together with storage technology, smart networks and uh, an increased local consumption. So we're really going from central thermal driven power generation to decentralized renewable power generation. And that's where we try uh, to act as KKB. Now, over the last sort of eight years, you have really tried to develop a, a unique investment model, I would say. So could you tell us a little bit more about this as well? How do you set yourself apart from your, your peers, for example? Mm -hmm. What is important for us is diversification. And first, we really want to invest in the three main technologies, which is water power, wind and solar, because we believe they have to complement each other. If you have a, a, a rainy year, it's good for hydro, but it's not good for solar. But overall, it will, they complement each other. So diversification in technology, but also diversification in terms of countries to hedge regulatory risk. So we are investing in five to six countries and in the three technologies. We try, of course, to find the good combinations between the, the countries and the technologies. For example, solar is better in the south. And on the other hand, uh, hydro is very good in Norway, for example. So this is one of our principles which sets us apart. The other one is also the size of the deals we're looking at. We are not, um, we are not uh, pitching for the very large deals because we want to avoid the large competition against the, the large in, uh, investors. But we're looking at a smaller scale um, power generation projects. Indeed. Now, in the current state of affairs, you know, if you're a shareholder, you, where do you even begin? There's so many different things, unprecedented market activity, you know, you name it. From your point of view, could you tell us about the structure of your shareholders for KKB? Mm -hmm. This is also a unique aspect of KKB, I have to say, because we have on one hand, we have um, three utility, Swiss utility companies, who um, have provided 80% of the capital and then 20% of the capital comes from financial investors. And this is something we want to continue. It gives us a good culture to um, be able to respond to, to these two stakeholder groups, the utilities, which give the stability, and on the other hand, the financial investors with their financially driven uh, perspectives. So this is one uh, of our um, uh, unique selling points and differentiations. Indeed. Now, you're listed on the Bern Stock Exchange, if mm -hmm. I'm right. Um, capital increases have taken place over the last few years and another is planned for the summer months of this year. What would you say are the, the need to know details? What's happening this time? Yeah, I'm happy to talk about our capital increase, of course. We are uh, excited about it. Um, we've done four capital increases uh, in the last couple of years, 2010, 12, 13, 14. And also this year, we can again uh, offer shares to, to the market. And again, we will have uh, the uh, utility investors taking a large part of the shares, but there are um, shares available for, na for financial investors. So this year, we are looking to raise 40 million. And these funds will be used to build renewable power plants or to acquire. That is the goal, because we want to continue to grow. We want to achieve our target of 300 megawatts. And for that, we need to continuously um, raise capital. So the fundraising or the subscription period has started and uh, it is possible for um, interested shareholders to uh, subscribe to shares until the 5th of August this year. 
you can uh, download the prospectus on our website and of course everybody's invited to do that. Well, as we say, it's a really hot topic. Thank you so much for coming in and sharing your insights from this perspective of KKB. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. It was a pleasure too. Thank you. Okay, well, that's all from Antoine and myself for the moment. Thank you for watching. And please do keep clicking back to Ducoscopy TV. Goodbye for now.